Hey everybody, it's Big Paul. Welcome back to the channel. Big Paul's Trucking. This is the time. Like and subscribe. Hey, uh, we're standing next to Big Green here. Uh, she's been tipped forward for a while now, but uh, I have the faith we're getting close. Check it out. Let's go see what we're doing here. All right, now I'm running out of excuses, guys. I know it's been a while, been a few videos. I got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got eight bolts there to take out. And I got uh, a couple more bolts right there. And then I have to take uh, these, uh, well, half the cross member bolts are gone, and there's a couple more on the top here. One, two, three. And then I'm going to disassemble the end of that cross member like I did here. So it's totally out of the way. So uh, we're making progress. I know progress is slow, but all of a sudden it's going to come out of here and look pretty good. I also, you guys left to watch, I got to torch that thing out of my way. Somebody welded that on a while ago. I don't know why, but. It's going to kind of be in the way when I'm pulling that rail out. I can't get that out. It's rust jack so hard that uh, I got to wait till I'm... If I took the tires off, I could run the impact on it, but I'm not going to do that. So I got it off on that end. It's just going to uh, come with the rail. It's all the way to the back, so it shouldn't be in the way. And this one goes to the other rail, so it's not a problem. At this time. So, all right, guys. We're going to set a little time lapse, and then before I actually take the last couple bolts out down here, again, the two that, uh, you know, are for this uh, bracket, we're going to set up uh, the camera and let you guys watch this, get it loose, and uh, start pulling on it. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hang tight. All right, you guys, hopefully you can see something here. We're going to uh, cut this bracket off. Got the, that's like a leather uh, smock of mine over top of that airbag so we don't destroy it immediately. We, we might have a chance of it living to see another day. But it's not important because it's an old airbag. We're going to uh, gotta cut this bracket off to this bracket here can flip forward, get out of the way of the frame. So that's what we're doing. Of course, we started without my gloves. We need to find them. I had them a minute ago. Where did I put them? Oh, there they are. <clears throat> the real life in the shop. <laughs> but I know I'll regret it. I'll have a burn spot or two on my hands. Don't need that. Start over here. <clears throat>
it's not pretty. Hit it with a hammer, see if it comes off. <laughs> Doesn't have to be pretty. Where are my all my hammers? Hold on, we got fire everywhere. Get off my airbag. Maybe we didn't destroy it. <laughs> of course, there's a hammer. Uh-huh. Make sure you got your eye protection, everybody. Hey, I still got it. Not too bad. That would make Pakistani truck uh, proud. Torch it off. All right. Now, we're going to do some more unbolting. I probably could have shed some light on this a little earlier. You guys can see what we just did, but cut it off. Okay, we're going to do uh, the rest of the unbolting. Well, we're almost done with uh, disassembly. Bolts and bolts and bolts. I've filled about a half a five-gallon bucket now with bolts. All right, everybody. I want to show you where we're at. We'll show you where we're at. Look. Okay, now everything is unbolted, but there's a last three, four, five bolts in the front. We got it hooked up to the gantry. We're ready to lift. We, we have control of the rail with the crane. And we're going to take these last few bolts out. I wanted you guys to see what we're doing, how we're rigged. We're ready to go. I'm super excited. Can't wait for you guys to see this. I'm trying to think of the best perspective. You know, it might be over here. This way, I'm out of the way. Let me get you guys set up on a tripod. All right, you guys. Well, here's where we're at, guys. There are two bolts left in this frame. You can see I'm strapped up with the crane. So let's take those two bolts out, pick this thing up. Get it out of here. I know everyone's been dying to see it. Much awaited. So uh, I'm going to do this in uh, real time. It's just going to take me a, just a few minutes to take those two bolts out. And uh, hopefully we don't have any catastrophes. Let's do it. All right. Two more three-quarter, well, they're half-inch bolts, but three-quarter. They're going through this housing, so hopefully they're not stuck. But I'll bet they're fine. Not much on this truck was stuck. There we go. All right, that's one. <clears throat> Last bolt. Here we go. Okay. Well, nothing's falling over yet. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get that bolt out. In case I gotta spin it some more. But it did turn, so. Of course, let's drop a few things. I think we're done with this. This out of the way. Because it's going to get live once we uh, get this last bolt out all the way. All right. What's holding us together? Still feels like it's together up here. Hmm. That last bolt. Let's see what's going on here. Uh 
I don't think it's going anywhere. <clears throat> well, bolts out now. Cab's being held by the straps. There's no more bolts in the frame. Nothing I should know of. Let's see what happens here. Oh, uh, see it move it's like pulling a tooth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's loose. It's definitely loose, guys. So now we got to figure out. I think I got to pick the back up a little more than the front. Yeah. I do. Okay, let me put a chain link. I have one somewhere. Oh, right over there. It's always on the other side, never on the same side. Let's see if we can pull the back up a little higher. And uh, get this frame to start coming. Start coming out, but you know, we got these cross members we're kind of sitting on. That's not really helping. Okay, that link will be fine. Let's pick it up a little bit. Okay, perfect. Get that back pick up a little bit more than the front. Get our gantry squared up. Good. See what we got going on here. We got a pry bar. Something in there. See if we can separate them a little. <clears throat> yeah, I remember these been there for 45 years. All right. It's definitely free. That's for sure. All right, well, hopefully we can just ease it out of here. Come on. Why is it picking something up in the back? Oh, because of that cross member. Well, we got a couple problems here, guys. These cross members won't allow the rail to come up and back. So I may have to take those out, which is what it's looking like, and then come back to this. Yep, that's I think the problem. Yep, yep, because I can't pick these up. It's gonna pull up that side of the frame, even though they're not attached. They need to be not attached on either side. Okay. Well, this is definitely a process. I kind of... Holy Nikes. I kind of had a hunch that was going to be a problem. So, uh, I'm going to get uh, dinner and get back at this a little bit. Thanks for watching.
owners welded a stupid plate on the outside for their crappy attempt at reinforcing it. Now the bracket is wedged in here and will not just slide by. But now we're going to have to take it off. Alright guys, I want you guys to see this. This is where we're at. My kid and I are killing ourselves trying to get this rail out. Look at this. There's that piece of all that slag from where I cut. That's got to slide by this uh, rear end bracket. I didn't plan on taking the bracket off, even though I could. I don't didn't plan on it. This one too. Look, they got this wonderful double frame that they welded on the outside. Well, that's not helping either. It goes way up here. So those two things are increasing my friction. So we're going to get our skid steer and pull on it. So uh, you'll get to see. Hang tight. All right, everybody, I hope you can see. We're doing our best here. Kind of sketchy. Got JR and the old kids here. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
get it out it's just a matter of time check that out guys now you tell me that ain't cool you ever seen a truck without a frame here we are here we are check that out up oh, see where's the frame oh, frames up there we'll take it for a ride looks pretty good I know I'm tired. Glad it's out of there. Hang tight. Hey guys, hope you're excited as I am. Check it out. Frame rail is sitting on the other side of the truck now. Hanging from the crane. Well, I'll tell you, if I hadn't bought that, this job would be impossible. There's my oldest. Look at this truck. You guys ever seen a truck without a frame? See you later. All the stuff is right where it's supposed to be. It ain't moved. And uh, the cross members we need to work on, we can work on now. The uh, frame rail, the drilling, the placement. We can work on all of that. But uh, I'm just thrilled, guys. I gotta say, it's turning out pretty good. I'm gonna try to get this video out so you guys can see it. Um, Man, I'll tell you. I hope the video turned out good of us. Uh... Hey, you guys, it's Big Paul. I want to thank you for watching. First frame rail is out. Got it over there. We're going to lay it down next to the uh, new one, transfer some holes, get it drilled and prepped. I'm going to let you guys see some of that process, but that's going to take me two, three days to get it all marked out. I only get one shot at doing this right, so I don't want to mess it up, but uh, check that out. Look at this beautiful truck. We are getting somewhere, guys. I can't wait till that new rail's hanging out back here. Then we unbolt that suspension, slide it back, bolt it onto the new frame, and uh, then we're going to replace that frame rail. It's a process, but we're going to get there. Hey, like, subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching to the end. This is going to be a great series. Tell a friend. Big Paul's out!